All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time now for Great Day Weekends. We're going to be joined by Renee Janino telling us all the fun things to happening across the state. Yeah, winter, weekends in Connecticut from winter's farmer's markets to winter sports, live music, movies, events, and more. And more. And so more. many things. And, so many, and it's so nice to see you, Melissa. You too. We don't get to hang out on Fridays that much. This is nice to see you in person here today. Isn't it great? I love it. Yes. Um, there's a lot going on this weekend, <laughs> okay. by the way. And I know the weather's going to be a little tricky, right, Scott? Tomorrow tonight. morning. It's tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, but once we get through that, the yeah, rest of the good. weekend. The rest of the weekend's good. Yeah. All right, well, that's good because Special Olympics uh, Winter Games are happening across the state uh, tomorrow and Sunday. For a complete listing, you can visit SOCT.org. I'll be at floor hockey at Pratt & Whitney Hangers uh, in East Hartford tomorrow uh, at 10:15 for the opening ceremonies. But an update: all the outdoor games are, have been moved to Sunday. So just keep that in mind if you're going to support Special Olympics this weekend. The outdoor games have been moved to Sunday. All right, Saturday night it's an evening of classics with Journey and special guest Toto at the XL Center. This is rescheduled from last Toto May. Toto in I'll bless the rain, Saturday and Africa. Africa. Yep. And Rosanna. And 99. Oh, wow. Yes. I yes, know so yes. many people going to this concert. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. I Journey and Toto for my time era. I, mean, I can remember when people would stand out for days to get tickets. Yeah, yeah. They were a super group. But anyway, all original tickets from last May are going to be honored and there's still seats available so you can visit XLCenter.com uh, from Don't Stop the Leaving Africa. You'll be singing along just like the three of us just were. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's going to be a great show. Then it's Ice Ice Baby Sunday at the XL Center as the Hartford Wolf Pack takes on the Charlotte Checkers at the XL Center at 3 p.m. XLCenter.com for tickets to that show. Uh, you guys, I love this. Mermaids. I know. I love I, mermaids. I saw, I saw the video. Mermaids it's incredible. Mermaids are in Mystic. You can experience an aquatic adventure like never before when you come face to face with real mermaids. The mermaids will dazzle with their interactive underwater performances, inspiring the imagination of guests of all ages. The show runs through Sunday, and mermaids will be diving from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Kids are going to love that. I was going to say, it's the kind of thing that you see when you're five and you think they're real for the rest of your life. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but they are real. They are okay, real. I mean, they are real. Yes, I mean, Ariel. Exactly. <laughs> Hello. They're real. <laughs> They're re okay. You. Sorry. All right. Friday, so tonight and Saturday, only at the Palace Theater in Waterbury, it's cats. Oh. Cats. Oh. cats. Isn't that memories? Memories. <laughs> Wow, it's like the musicals right here. <laughs> Cats, the record-breaking musical spectacular by Andrew Lloyd Webber that captivated audience in over 30 countries in 15 cats. The record-breaking musical spectacular is going to be held tonight and tomorrow uh, at um, the, the Palace Theater in Waterbury. That if you terrific. want more tickets, you can visit palacetheaterct.org. Because Jellicle can and Jellicle do. Jellicle cats and Jellicle can. Jellicle cats and Jellicle do. I saw it at the Bushnell in seventh grade. Oh my God! Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, now that's, that's a good. memory. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. All right, my movie pick this weekend will definitely heat up the competition at the Whoa. box office. Oh. Oh. Currently, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Cocaine Bear are in the top two spots, but Creed 3 has the potential to be number one as it opens in wide release this weekend. Adonis Creed is played by Michael B. Jordan. He's back. Creed 3 is the third installment in the successful franchise and Michael B. Jordan's directorial debut. Now, I know we have some video footage of this. You have got to see, or maybe we don't, but you have got to see these, I mean, I don't know. I want to make sure I'm being appropriate right now, but they worked out for this. Yeah, they worked out. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know I how I can to tell say just it. from that little I think that's poster. why we're not showing the video. <laughs> Let me just say that you have to work out to be a boxer. Yes, you do. And you're going to see a lot of boxers that have worked out to be in this movie. And it's really well done. And I'm not like a boxing movie person, yep. but I did get a chance to see this. And the storyline is really good. And I think Michael B. Jordan did a great job for starring and then his directorial debut. So if you're a fan of those movies, you're going to absolutely love that one. You know All what right. the, their favorite uh, day of the year is? December 26th. Because it's Boxing, boxing Day. Because it's Boxing yeah. Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank a you. mile away. I saw that one. Oh.